Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the Indigo Lights channel. Alexander here, happy to be uh, with you on this beautiful evening here in uh, Canada. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're having a productive week, uh, heading towards the weekend very soon. I wanted to take a few minutes and just cover the 22nd of the month. Um, I've been alluding to the month of August for a while as a an integration month, a month that allows you to integrate your your um, how we call it your original template frequency and integrate it fully. And from the month of September, we can really begin creating to the full extent of our abilities. This is completely contingent on how how much we allow this to happen. We cannot expect miracles to happen if we don't allow um, the integration to to happen in its own rate, not the rate that we want it to. Um, the month of August is a very powerful month in terms of the Lion's Gate and you know the the weeks that come following that until the approximately the seventh or the tenth of, of September. That's what I've gotten for a while. The twenty second of August is a date that's been you know in my calendar for many many months. I didn't really think much of it. I just kind of let it happen. I now understand the full meaning of of the month of August, what it brings us in terms of a gift. And um, I have very simple advice in regards to this week, especially uh, today, tomorrow, wherever you are, the 22nd. Um, allow full integration to the fullest extent of what it means. Do not expect, because when we have these dates, there's a lot of anticipation. The overall energetic climate is a lot of excitement, a lot of nervousness, a lot of um, hyperactivity. This is what I'm feeling. I'm getting the same kind of feedback from around as well. Um, and a lot of anticipation of moving forward. So sometimes you have this kind of jubilant energy that makes you want to, you know, move mountains and do things. And and then you start to try to do things because that's what you think you need to do in, in full anticipatory mood and in, in move, sorry, and things don't move at the rate that you want them to. Um, despite the climate, despite the energies that are rampant and, you know, running through all of your chakras and, and asking to settle in an in a accommodating and fluid way, it's really the best time to let them be. Okay, I've, I've shown some modalities that I work with online um, on the YouTube channel in terms of helping with integration and being in full acceptance and acquiescence, which is important here. Okay, we're allowed to, um, we are, sorry, we are, we are trying to allow for these things to integrate fully and to settle within our physicality. We're not really here to see any movement until the end of the month. Movement in terms of movement in our lives. Moving forward, relocation, job changes, all these things. Okay, I feel like it's really important to take a step back in order to take ten, step, 10 steps forward, sorry. Um, so, despite this kind of jubilant, nervous desire to go forward and, and run, you know, across the fields and scream, I'm free, I feel amazing, and all these things, which you can do, and I do recommend it if you have, you know, fields around you, um, it's not a month to sit down, and especially on the 22nd until the 31st of the month, and expect great movement forward. The movement is allowed, is is uh, created by allowing the frequencies to settle within your body. The more you're in acceptance of what comes without knowing what form it will take, when it will happen, how it will happen, the more the universe understands that you're really ready to receive whatever you're meant to receive. Um, I've gotten a few emails in the last couple of days, the same kind of symptomology, the same things I'm feeling. And people that really feel like they should be doing a lot of things, they try different alleys and nothing you know, yields anything. And I, I do understand, you know, the predicament they find themselves in, but it's important to sit down, relax, and let things integrate. Allowing things to happen at the rate that we need them to, not what the, the rate that we want them to, is of um, paramount importance in terms of this journey. Because we want to design it our way, but this is a kind of grander plan. And we're not really fully aware of the extent of energetic uh, downpours that are happening right now. We are aware in terms of this, the way that we react to them with our bodies, I do feel very elated personally for the last few days. I feel elated, I feel amazing, I feel like I want to run around and you know, scream out of happiness and, and just do stuff. Um, but then you know, you try to, to figure out what you're supposed to do in this period of time and they just let you know it's an integration period. And it's important to sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. When you're here to shine and to bring to move the actual mountains, you will know. You'll be let know in some way or another. And things should with the fluidity of the fifth dimensional awareness, move towards you as well. That's what we mean by attracting. We have tried to make pieces of the puzzle fall into place in the past, and it didn't necessarily work because sometimes we weren't able to, or we weren't uh, we weren't really meant to do that. Today, it's important to send out a message and allow the universe to send things back with ease, and that's a real kind of difference between the way we used to do things in the past. 
We didn't really understand the word ease or fluidity or feasibility. Everything was, I will make this happen in, you know, work and dedication and hard work and uh, I will have to do everything with my own two hands. Here we have a partnership, we have a, a complicit relationship with guidance and the universe. We put something out and we receive. But before we receive, we must really be able to wait the time that it takes without anticipation and to believe that however long it takes is the right time for us and we are covered either way, okay, especially when it comes to, I don't know, monetary uh, issues. Um, and to, to be able to sit and to be in acceptance. And whenever it happens, it happens because that's when you were ready. Sometimes you are, you know, struggling with yourself and you really want something to happen. And it doesn't happen in the frame mind, in the, the time frame that you had set for yourself. And then you get into disappointment, all because of your anticipatory response. And then one day out of the blue it happens. And you understand how foolish you were. Because things happen when you need them to, not when you want them to. Okay, so I'm going to invite you as well to watch my last video in terms of rest, uh, hydration, and all the tips that are, you know, uh, that are important now. It is still summer, some of these places on, on earth are, are heating up, so you do feel the heat as well. So take, it, take your time and rest as well. You don't have to go and conquer anything. You don't have to go out and, you know, celebrate and socialize too much. Try to sit at home and just kind of relax and let things happen. Sleep which is the best the best recommendation I can have for integration. If you can and you're in your body of water, go swim. Another thing I can really suggest, swimming is... I find it interesting because um, I used to live next to the sea for most of my life, Mediterranean. Um, I used to snorkel a lot. I used to leave, you know, in the middle of the day, snorkel. Um, and I always understood the dichotomy of beneath the water and above the water. And I'll be kind of swimming in these amazing places and above the water you had like tourists swimming and, and running around and the chaos of, of the of the 3D reality and the minute you kind of plunged your head beneath water, you were in a different realm that it was two worlds coexisting, even though we don't treat the ocean very well. Um, but it was an escape, it was an, another place that you could exist that had nothing to do with the place that you were used to. And this made me understand, um, and I mean literally snorkeling, going above the surface of the water and beneath, Understand the, the relationship between 3D and 5D. How close they are together, but how inherently different they are. And beneath the water, which is personally, and this is only a perspective, the place I feel most most comfortable on this planet is always in the water, deep. The deeper the better, away from the chaos of society and in the, the solace and the beauty of you know whatever's going on around there. It is a completely different world, and it's a world that we never really pay attention to. Um, so if you're near that, I invite you to give it a try. If you only give it a try and you're, you know, well acquainted, do try it again. It's it's really a way to calibrate yourself. There are a lot of minerals in seawater that help you as well. Um, so give it a try. Okay. Um, we do have an event also on the 22nd, which should be depending where you are today or it was yesterday. Um, we have an event for physical integration of the new frequencies, which is something that may interest you, something that pertains to, you know, the work that we're doing right now. <laughs> Um, until the end of the month especially. The proper integration of the physical frequencies that are happening and, and the tools that we can use with the energies of love and other tools, and I'm talking 100% physical here. Nothing to do with something too etheric. I do understand that with every kind of uh, modality, any kind of doctrine, we also have to work on tangible tools. We want pragmatic solutions to issues that we're dealing with. We don't want kind of abstract blah blah love yourself, everything will be fine, all these things, they don't really help us in the end of the day. Um, so that's available, it's in the description. You can send me an email at indigolight2222 at gmail.com for questions regarding that, uh, questions regarding sessions, any services. And of course, uh, if you're on the Higher Self channel, you can uh, subscribe to the Indigo Lights channel and activate your notification tab with the little bell next to the subscribe button. And of course, check out the website, indigolightlove.com. In the meantime, I send you a big uh, namaste. I thank you so much for your time and I wish you an awesome day, evening, morning, wherever you are.